Written and edited by Hikiko. Isn't that right, Zach? Hello, everyone. I'm Hikiko, and unfortunately, this is a video I never wanted to make. Oh, uh, it's not going to be one of those kinds of videos. This is about the good life again. Yeah, it's getting DLC randomly a year and a half after the game released. Uh, after I made my previous video on it, it's kind of a primer for this one. This is a follow-up. Please watch that one before indulging in this one. It'll make a lot more sense. The long story short is that the Good Life campaign and Swery65, the creator of the campaign, made a ton of promises that he couldn't keep in the final game. There was a lot of content either left on the cutting room floor or deliberately omitted to be quirky. For example, the main murder mystery, never solved. Why do people turn into cats and dogs at night? Never solved. Uh, no crypto mining minigame, no sheep shearing minigame, no owning mines, no dynamic ending. That was the big thing. Uh, your choices were going to matter and the murder mystery would dynamically alter based on how you played the game. What happens in the town depends entirely on you. How the townspeople behave, how their lives play out, and how the story ends. It'll all change based on your decisions. How you interact with the townspeople and make friends with them will change how they think and behave. The townspeople's relationships will change based on how you play. In one town, you may see a surprising couple start dating. Or a normal character in your town may become the mayor of your friend's town. You may even be able to influence how the story in your town plays out. That doesn't happen. Oh, and the centered mechanic, the debt repayment RPG, that's not really a thing. You just do all the main story quests, and then you pay off all your debt. So when Swery randomly tweets out that, hey, guess what? The Good Life's getting paid DLC, comes out in a few days. It's called Behind the Secret of Rainy Woods, implying that he's going to charge the people who already paid for the game uh, an additional fee to get the ending, the conclusion, of the good life. Uh, that didn't sit well with me and I didn't want to make this video. Honestly, I was not going to make it until I put out a Twitter poll saying, you want me to make this? And I got over 200 responses. So here we are, the good life DLC video. Please tell me why we creators who work overtime every day to make video games should have to update our games for free. You all pay $10 for a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Is the world going crazy? There are many problems with this tweet. For one, who out there is paying $10 for a cup of Starbucks coffee? Either Swery is arguing in bad faith to prove a shitty point, or worse, he truly is that out of touch with the prices of things in the world. Secondly, if I'm unhappy with the prices over at Starbucks, there are other places to go get coffee. For example, I go to McDonald's, I can get a McCafe coffee for $1. I can get multiple cups of coffee. <laughs> I can get 10 cups of coffee to Swery's one Starbucks coffee. Uh, and if I'm unsatisfied, if there's something wrong with my order, I have the option of just returning the item, exchanging it, getting my money back. Uh, I have that option with this McDonald's content. I don't have that option with your DLC. And uh, finally, and I think the most important problem with this tweet is he framed the whole thing as paying for updates rather than DLC. So people out there perceive that story is like, why are people so mad that I charge $10 to update my game? So people are thinking that he's charging for bug fixes and the like. Well, yeah, I can see a problem with that, considering how buggy this game was at launch and all of Swery's past games have been. Uh, yeah, I think it comes off as a little out of touch whenever you say charging for updates. But let's look at it from the DLC perspective, his true intention here with this tweet. Uh, was it worth $9.99, the, the Behind the Secrets of Rainy Woods DLC? Does it reveal all of the mysteries like who killed Elizabeth or why do the people turn into cats and dogs at night? Why was Naomi in so much debt? The whole purpose for the game. Does it add some of the missing mechanics uh, that were promised in the Kickstarter? Does it do any of that for $9.99? We're about to find out. <laughs> 
Even if you didn't buy the DLC, when you first start the game, you'll note that it's been updated to version 3.1. What's included in 3.1? A package in front of Naomi's doorstep, celebrating the launch of the DLC. DLC? What's that? An abbreviation for some kind of scam? Uh, spoiler alert there, Naomi. Inside the package are 50 aluminum cans, which was the most grindy material in the game. Seriously, it could take you up to 10 hours to get enough aluminum cans so you can craft one of the game's many tedious items. It's an inside joke in poor taste. Thanks, Swery. Okay, let's go purchase the DLC now. The Good Life Behind the Secrets of Rainy Woods. This DLC includes 12 new side quests with many secrets to uncover. Let's peek a bit further behind the curtain of Rainy Woods, shall we? For the low price of $9.99 plus $101 in tax comes to $11, but this is okay. I'm certain this is going to be a valuable investment. Okay, let's start up the game again. Now with the DLC installed, and there's zero indication that it was installed. In a nutshell, the DLC only activates after you have completed the game, so that only applies to about 10% of you good life players out there. It starts off with an email from Lucy Turner, the new CEO of Morning Bell. She wants to reopen the investigation into Elizabeth's murder. Well, this sounds promising. That was the biggest mystery in the game that was left unsolved. So we have to go all the way out to the site of Elizabeth's murder, take a photo, and then leg it back to Naomi's house to upload it to Flamingo. Okay, this seems kind of basic, but we're just getting started. So you upload it, then you get another email from Lucy. This time, she wants you to investigate Mr. Rudman White, the owner of the woods where Elizabeth's body was found. All right, this mystery starting to get a little bit interesting. In order to complete this mission, you have to take a photo of Rudman White at the site of his wife's gravestone. So you go over to Rudman's house in the early morning and take a bunch of invasive photos as he's grieving over his dead wife. I made sure to take about 10 of them at various angles just to be sure I had the right one, and apparently I didn't? What gives? I ended up having to troubleshoot this mission and it turns out you have to wait for Rudman White to face away from his wife's grave, then take a photo, then upload it to Flamingo. Go. No indication that would be the case. Another email from Lucy. Turns out a former classmate of Rudman says, this isn't the Rudman I know. All right, what am I supposed to do with that? Never mind the Elizabeth murder. Now it's time to take photos of the citizens of Rainy Woods turning into cats and dogs at midnight. That's another critical mystery left unsolved. Why do they transform into them? This is the town's biggest secret. So let's take more photos of cats and dogs. So you wait until a full moon, take photos of cats and dogs. And then once again, Upload them to Flamingo. Seems like we're going in circles here, beat for beat, the main plot recapped for us. Well, it has been a year and a half. What's next, Lucy? So the photos of the cats and dogs we uploaded seem like normal cats and dogs to all the analysts out there. So we're gonna have to reinvestigate the antagonist of the game, Dr. Anderson's former site where his laboratory used to be. So then you just run out and look for a wide open space where his tent used to be take a photo, upload it to Flamingo. I'm sure this is gonna be the one. The revelations are coming out. Another email from Lucy. Hey, remember Elizabeth's wheelchair that she was riding around in and no longer needs? Wasn't that weird? Why don't you go investigate Elizabeth, the person who's not supposed to be alive? Yes, this has gotta be it. This must be the secret of Rainy Woods. Let's go take a photo of Elizabeth so we can then upload it to Flamingo. All right, I uploaded the photo and Lucy tells me in an email that she's gonna stop the investigation because she's afraid she's going to get murdered. And it's better that we don't solve this mystery. That's it? Okay, maybe that was the wrong quest line. Let me go do Elizabeth's quest line. The Secrets of Rainy Woods. This has to be it. We're gonna find out how she was murdered and why she's still alive. Elizabeth wants to meet Naomi at a campground. When Naomi arrives, Elizabeth requests Naomi to make her mushroomless mushroom soup. So then we're doing a fetch quest to get all the ingredients and then we make her the soup, and Elizabeth divulges that there may be alternate realities. But no, it's not a multiverse. It's a totally different thing, but I'm not gonna explain it. Continue on with the quest line. The Secrets of Rainy Woods Part 2. Elizabeth wants to play an adult game of hide and seek up in an old abandoned quarry. Thankfully, Naomi is equipped for the task at hand. Remember, she can turn into a dog and do some good old-fashioned fart cloud sniffing. You pick up on Elizabeth's scent, and then hop 
pop up into this crater and oh there she is all right out with the secrets thanks for playing hide and seek by the way there may be multiple versions of you naomi see you later secrets of rainy woods part three elizabeth wants to hang out at a waterfall hey can you take a quick photo of me here all right another secret in an alternate reality one of the town citizens might have been a murderer and his hideout was behind the waterfall by the way none of this happened in this reality i just thought it would be a cool anecdote to tell about this waterfall my senses are tingling we gotta keep going on with this the secret of rainy woods part four elizabeth wants you to dig up some buried treasure up in the snowy mountain go meet me there so naomi hikes her leg and makes some yellow snow digs up an old photograph and gives it to elizabeth elizabeth imparts the following hey this is a photo of alternate reality me remember when you took that no it was a wonderful moment you had to be there oh you were looking for the secrets of rainy woods i'm sorry your secrets are in another castle meet me at this old shrine so you show up at the shrine and elizabeth's like okay the secrets in one of these cardboard boxes that i've placed around the perimeter of the map just run around and hop in one of these boxes and you'll find the secret so i run around hopping in all these boxes feeling cucked out of my money once again and i find an old pendant they didn't draw or animate any 3d models for this pendant you just have to take their word for it what is the significance of the pendant well it's a nice story it actually belonged to alternate reality ian white who used it to talk to his dead brother and then all the townspeople thought he was a madman and locked him in the basement but this has absolutely no bearing on the overall plot or the secrets of rainy woods and it actually never happened this will never be brought up again fuck you sign swear 65 secrets of rainy woods part six hey naomi can you throw on your default clothes and meet me at my murder site okay thanks bye and hey elizabeth did i ever tell you about the story about how this fashion model wanted to make the world's most unique set of clothes so they went full-on buffalo bill and started wearing other people's skin no i didn't tell you that i swear i did yeah it was an interesting story that didn't happen but simultaneously did happen in this very spot see you next time for real this is the final secrets of rainy woods quest line lucky number seven elizabeth wants to throw a house party at your house naomi but i will only attend after you have placed a wooden bench in your garden oh well thankfully i already have a pink wooden bench in my garden nope that doesn't count craft a brand new wooden bench default color so you go out of your way getting a bunch of annoying materials seriously to get these wood materials you can only buy them in quantities of three and then you have to sleep for about four days go back get another quantity of three sleep for four days and then go back and get the final quantity of three totaling nine wood materials so you can craft this stupid bench and then put it in your garden so the final secret can be revealed are you ready for it just kidding bake me a pie bitch so then you gotta go out and get all the materials and bake elizabeth a pie i can't eat this pie because you stink now for no particular reason you gotta run in take a shower gussy up a little bit so you can attend your own picnic that you're hosting all right this is it the secrets of rainy woods shall be revealed once upon a time there was a place called rainy woods where fact and fiction overlap things happen and don't happen at the same time and the source of rainy woods powers lie within the secrets themselves which i cannot tell you because then rainy woods would lose its powers and i'm responsible for guarding those secrets and this was all a test to see if one day you can supplant me as the secret keeper that'll be nine dollars and 99 cents plus tax guys hakiko here i'm gonna be real with you not hyperbolic at all this was the biggest waste of eleven dollars of my lifetime this was the main quest line behind the secrets of rainy woods what did you learn nothing who murdered elizabeth doesn't matter happened in an alternate reality why do people turn into cats and dogs can't find out secret there were no new gameplay mechanics no new characters introduced no more recorded voice lines no new cutscenes. everything was made out of existing assets from a game that's been out for a year and a half that was already missing a ton of features promised in the kickstarter campaign that remind you we funded this game but once again the 10 percent of us who actually bothered to complete the game are expected to pay an additional 11 dollars for these side quests that reveal nothing they don't even grant you stuff like achievements or trophies or anything of significance 
It's like this DLC doesn't even exist. Oh, oh, you know what? That may be the point here. If you think about it, in this reality, we got this shitty good life, but in another one, it was actually completed and Swery maintained his reputation by delivering on all of his many promises. That's the point. I get it. I've solved the secret of Rainy Woods. It's bad on purpose. I feel sorry for all of you out there who just didn't get Swery's true intentions. You gotta read between the lines. Don't look at what's in front of you. Ignore reality. Think four dimensionally and you can truly appreciate the good life experience. So, that is it. The secret behind Rainy Woods is just a series of random side quests that have nothing to do with the overall plot. No secrets are revealed. The three main secrets of the games, nope, don't even touch on them. Sorry, not this time. And apparently, this is not going to be the only DLC due to this implication of this tweet here. He's gonna release more, I'm off. I'm done with it. This is where Hikiko gets off. I'm sorry if you're expecting more, but I will not cover this game more. I'm telling you guys, steer clear. Okay, there are a lot of sweary ball washers out there that are saying, oh, you just didn't get it. The Good Life was just another quirky, cool game, and it's supposed to be low budget. What did you expect? Well, I expected sweary to live up to his own promises for one. And for two, many people out there don't even have an investment in this game. They just played it on Game Pass and they didn't even finish it, okay? Here's the top review on Steam, by the way. Okay, this is the most upvoted review. Seven hours <laughs> on record. They didn't even beat the game. So till you've gotten a Naomi statue, till you've done all the side quests, I don't wanna hear it, okay? Don't even come at me unless you got a Naomi statue, screen cap, time stamped, associated with your profile, then I'll start listening to your opinion. Okay, take it for somebody who kickstarted this game, who put a lot of money into it, who recommended to people out there on my channel that they should also invest in it, and in IRL. I convinced people that had no idea who Swery was to kickstart this, so I still feel an ounce of guilt for that. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, just avoid it. Okay, this is it. I don't want to think about. I don't want to. I don't want to. No more. No more. Good life. <laughs> he goes out. F you sweary. You know what you did. You have no right to complain. You sit there and say, "Oh, oh I'm such an aching developer. Oh, I spent 24 hour days just working away at this good life." He actually put that out. Like I'm supposed to feel sorry for this half-assed, no new assets, nothing. Okay, asset flip, already existing asset abomination that you released, and then you had the gall, had the gall to lecture us gamers on how we spend $10. I'm done, hopping off, see you next time.